Hi, welcome inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room. We've been uh, talking about some activity there aboard the space station and here on the ground. And joining me today, we have the uh, Space Station Operations Integration Manager, Kenny Todd. Kenny, thanks for coming out today. It's my pleasure. Thank you. So um, let's talk about what's been going on here. We've got SpaceX on the ground, on the Falcon 9, uh, the Dragon ready to go um, for launch. We also have a failed computer, backup computer. Um, on station, and then we have a contingency spacewalk. So let's first start with what transpired on Friday. Sure. Um, the, uh, the team here on the ground in MCC was doing a, a standard software load, uh, what we call a PPL. It's just a, a small software um, uplink that they were doing. Uh, when they powered that backup box on to, to put it in configuration to do that load, the box itself did not respond in the in the way that it typically would uh, go through its normal startup procedures. Instead, it was clear the box was drawing a lot less power than it typically would, and it never got in a state where we could go load the software. Okay. And this is a backup that's correct. System. It's a backup so box. Uh, we have the, the primary MDM, which we call EXT1, uh, was up and controlling the systems, the external systems, as it typically does. This particular box is, is nothing more than, back, than a backup that, uh, that we had powered down, and we were just putting it in a better configuration. Okay, good deal. So there was no impact to the, the crew or the station systems correct. on that day when that took place. So talk to me about um, this weekend. I understand there were a lot of discussions with the um, International Space Station mission management team, and then um, that discussion was on whether or not we will continue with the um, the uh, launch of SpaceX Falcon 9, if you can talk to me about some of that. Sure. Um, anytime we have a failure on, on space station, our, our first uh, thought is, um, what, what would we do in the event we have an additional failure, and which failure would be our worst failure? In this particular case, uh, if we were to lose the, the one MDM that, that was already up and running and doing its job, um, that EXT1 MDM, if we were to lose it, uh, how bad a day would we be in? And, and uh, immediately we start looking at, at what the consequences would be, what kind of things we could do to try to put the, the overall system in a better configuration to tolerate that failure should it happen. And so those kinds of things we, we started doing immediately mm -hmm. um, on board on, on Friday night. And so um, taking a little bit of that data and, and folding that into, okay, now how good do we feel about pressing ahead with some of the, the immediate near-term upcoming activities like SpaceX launch and can we get it birthed, that, uh, that's really what we spent a lot of time this weekend talking about. Okay. And then so the decision was a go for SpaceX. So we have that taking place today. The launch is scheduled to occur at 3.58 Central Time today. And uh, we'll be having live coverage for you here on NASA television beginning at 2.45 p.m. Central Time. Um, talk to me a little about the importance of SpaceX's this station. I know it's loaded with all kinds of supplies and experiments and stuff, but can you talk to me about why it's so important for us to go ahead and get that up? You bet, sure. There, there's, a, a, you know, we have consumables, uh, just your basic uh, uh, needs that we have to meet to meet uh, to meet our crew's needs. But, uh, but in addition to that, we have a new spacesuit. And uh, as many of many folks know, we've had some issues with spacesuits that we've been working through. Uh, we're still learning a lot about about how spacesuits perform over the long long haul. And so, the opportunity to get a new spacesuit on board is is very important for us. And so, uh, so we're looking forward to getting that new suit on board. Um, in addition to that, we have some additional spare parts for our suits that are currently on board, and so we'll be be looking to get those um, out and get them uh, get them in put into our new into our suits. And so we'll we'll be in a much better configuration EVA wise uh, once we get those uh, those suits upgraded on board. Um, but in addition to that, we've got an incredible amount of research on this particular flight that uh, that we're ready to put put in the crew's hands and, and get deployed. And so we're we're excited about this flight, uh, certainly from a research standpoint too. Good deal. All right. Well, thank you. Um, one other thing, let's talk about that contingency spacewalk that we've been talking about, scheduled to take place on uh, April 22nd. And uh, so, explain is this to repair the MDM? Or? Correct. Yeah. What we'll do is we'll. Uh, it's it's a relatively straightforward EVA. It's not too far. Uh, the path to get to the the point in the S0 truss where we would install this MDM is relatively easy to get to outside the airlock. We uh, we spent quite a bit of time this morning. Uh, as an ops community, talking through some of the the basics of what we're going to do, and it looks looks straightforward. A couple hours to go out and do it. Um, one of the things that that we do have to do is get the uh, the MDM built up that we need to take outside as the replacement unit, and so uh, getting that MDM in a good configuration. Uh, 
uh, before we go out the door is going to take some amount of time. And so, so the team will be working through that this week and, and, uh, and, and putting the final details on what we'll do once we get out the hatch, but also uh, getting the MDM in a good configuration to be able to, uh, to install and know that, that when we bring it up that it's going to run successfully. Okay. Sounds good. Well, there was your update. Again, uh, today's launch is scheduled to take place at 3.58 p.m. Central Time. We'll bring you live coverage here beginning at 2.45 p.m. That is the latest with Kenny Todd. Thank you again for coming out today. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.